The reigning KSW heavyweight champion is back on Sherdog, Phil De Freeze. Hello, Phil. How are you today, my friend? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. I am tired, but uh, I'm to be expected. It's been a bit of tough time. I've pushed myself. It's been, it's been good, you know. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, and I'm glad that you're in good spirits. You, I saw your Instagram stories. You look in good shape, and you look ready for your upcoming fight on July 15th. How was your camp this time? Oh, I was great. You know, honestly, I feel like uh, this is. I don't, people say, well, I don't say this all the time, but I, I tell the truth. But I, uh, this has been the best I've ever felt ever. I'm uh, composed. Every, everything's just falling the place for me. I've got the best people around me, the best training partners, the best coach. I'm, I'm starting to learn my own body. I'm starting. Well, I do drink beers every weekend, but I've been having good nutrition <laughs> when I'm not on the beers. But I'm going to be on the beers straight after this, and uh, I'm, 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 I feel great. I'm probably going to be 15 kilograms heavier than him, and I'm. Everybody farm with Mick Park and Tom Astral, 70% of my lounge. I'm just an absolute killer at the moment. I'm glad to hear that. And I guess that you trained with your good uh, friend and uh, teammate uh, um, uh, Tom Aspina, right? Among others, of course. Yeah, well, I've got Mick Park, and he's making his debut with UFC next week, the week after my fight. Uh, we've been going out to train with Tom every week for the last three, eight weeks or something. Uh, all of Three top heavyweights like that, you know, it's a killer move. It's uh, we're, we're all a bunch of killers, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I saw a few pictures, actually, on Instagram. And you guys are pretty big, you know. And uh, it's great to, to see that England or Europe in general has this uh, heavyweight team. Let's put it like this. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a killer move. There's no rounds off. But like I said, like I said... Uh, Probably the best heavyweight match I've ever been on in my entire career. And uh, we're all just there uh, kind of building off each other, all helping each other, all friends. This is a great time to be heavyweight in England. <laughs> uh, did you change anything at all in your training camp? Uh, you know, considering that now you have so much experience as an MMA fighter? Uh, well, uh... I do. I, I honestly, I'm getting better when we fight. Like I said, I learned not. I've said before this because I learned nothing when I had anxiety. You know, I'm still like uh, only six years into my journey, really, because I, I couldn't learn when I had the anxiety. Uh, things are going great. I'm learning to compose myself, uh, use my energy. Well, because I used to, uh, I used to try and kill people. Like I kill, 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 smash, kill. Which uh, and that's been working great, but now I can pick my moments better. I'm composed. I'm in with people who can take advantage of mistakes I make, so I'm not making as many mistakes. And uh, things are just working out great, you know. Simon uh, Bejor is an interesting opponent. He was a former champion in Fan, if I'm not wrong. He fought for the PFL, so he has some experience as well. What do you expect from uh, from Simon? Oh, he's great. You know, he, uh, he, he can do it all. He can mix it up well. Uh, he's a dangerous fighter. He can do it all, but uh, he can't grapple as much as me. And he's not going to be, he's, he's going to be 20 kilograms lighter than me. Probably I'm 128 kilograms at the moment. So when oh. I think cut, but I, I always have a decently size, size cut. Uh, I'm, I'm still my beers too much. I'm not giving, I'm giving them up ever. I'm going to have one in a minute. But uh, he is great. But honestly, I, I like I feel like a killer. Like I said, 70% of my rounds are with Mick and Tom, and I think they're better than Simon. And uh, I'm, I honestly feel like I'm amazing, like amazingly well prepared for this fight. In your latest uh, fight, uh, you defeated Tad Duffy. It was a rematch of your first uh, fight. You vindicated that defeat at uh, the hands of Duffy. Uh, I wasn't expecting, to be honest, perhaps a TKO. You know, I wanted, I, not I wanted, but I was expecting more a submission since uh, uh, you are a submission specialist, but overall you are a pretty all-around fighter. So was that something that you planned for? Like, you did you plan to finish uh, Duffy with uh, strikes? Uh, I, I'm more of a TKO guy now, you know. I have got submissions, but I'll I'll only take a submission if it's if it's like right, if it's like right there, you know. I'm not going to risk position to get a submission. And uh, I would say I'm more of a TKO guy, but I, I'll take what I can get, you know. I've got I've got lots of good submissions, uh, but like I said, I, I I can finish the fight anywhere now. I'm feeling pretty pretty good.
And yeah, you have a point there since you finished uh, Narkun with strikes. Uh, you forced Darko Stosic to, you know, to tap the strikes and also finished uh, uh, Daffy uh, right now with... Uh, um, how how do you see your fight with uh, Simon going down? I honestly, I, honestly, I, I, I think Simon's great. He's a great guy. He's a great fighter. But I am an absolute killer at the moment. I'm having a, a enormous success on the mats. I'm learning so much. I honestly feel I'm going to get him in two rounds, you know. And I say that every time you sit a fight I've had, I said I'm going to get him in two rounds. And I've been getting him in one round lately. But I don't want to be a big head. But I think, uh, I think, I feel I'm just, I'm just too big. I'm too, like, technically proficient. And, and I'm too fit that the people, they can't take the pressure for that long, you know? And I give such a, like, an awful first round. You get this first round with this and, and you're being squished and knocked and you go back to your corner and you think, this is really, really crap. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we saw each other, it was for KSW Coliseum 2. It was an unbelievable event. You were there. Did you enjoy that night? Oh, yeah, it was amazing. I, I had a great time. The fights were fantastic. Uh, it was, uh, I had lots of beers. I, started, I must have done like 500 photos for the fans, which, uh, which I, mean, I, I don't get sick of it. You know, I, I, I love it. You know, if I can give 30 seconds of my time to make someone like, have a happy evening, that's a, that's a good trade, you know. And uh, I was just amazing. I got my whole left. So it was just an altogether fantastic evening. <laughs> You told me during those days that uh, at a certain point you were supposed to face. Alistair Overeem, or at least you were told that perhaps you would face him. Eventually, that uh, fight didn't uh, happen. But still, you and Overeem meet uh, met on that on that occasion at uh, KSW Coliseum too. Uh, did you guys talk? Did you guys uh, say this, uh, something to each other? Yeah, well, our seats were directly next to each other. We were sitting next to each other for a few fights, and uh, oh, he's a great guy, you know. Uh, even though we might have fought, he's just he's an articulate, he's funny, he's he's, a, he's just a, he's just a nice fella, you know. And uh, he's retired now, so it's uh, good on him. It would have been a nice fight, but uh, he's had a great career. And he's wearing the gloves up, but he's one of the best to ever do, you know. So uh, enjoy your retirement, mate. Were you surprised to see him uh, that uh, thin? He he looked like really thin and lean, you know compared to what he used to be before. Yeah, that's what everyone going on. Like Gossip and saying, oh, he must be sick and that. Like, uh, I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, maybe he's, he's just retired. He just doesn't want to really lift weights all the time. But uh, I don't know. I don't like to gossip about people. So I'm sure he's fit and well and healthy and happy, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I totally agree with that. I, I totally agree. And Phil, uh, right now, what should fans expect from your next fight? Honestly, you're going to see that. Honestly, like I said, people say it all the time. This is the best I've ever felt. But this is the best I've ever felt. Honestly, I'm, uh, I'm feeling fine. I feel like a killer, you know. Uh, I'm having. Honestly, I, I'm just going to go out there. And I think I'm just going to blow them away. You know, I'm just going to have a great time. I'm going to be smiling when I enter the cage, and I'm going to be smiling when I leave the cage too. <laughs> what are you going to bring this time with you in Poland? Because usually you bring either your PlayStation. Or your Nintendo DS? What was that the last time you told me that? Oh well, I haven't. I've been saving the Witcher. I haven't watched the new Witcher season, so I'll be bloody flip phone, be bloody Z Fold three broken though. So I'm just gonna watch it on a normal size screen, which isn't much fun. Uh, I've saved Zelda. I've got the new Zelda game for the for the Switch, so I've got those two. And uh, I, I don't know. It's, uh, probably it's like a, a seaside kind of. Uh, Resort, you know, so I want to just go on the beach and stuff. Uh, but like I said, I like I have to wait cut, so it won't be as much fun. But that's the price you're gonna pay for having so many beers. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time today. Best of luck with the upcoming fight, mate. And hopefully, I will hear again from you in the future. <laughs> Great, man. Thank you, too. I'll speak to you soon, mate. Thank you. Yeah, have a nice one. Bye bye. <laughs>